Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Skylar, and today we got stand up comedy, right? So I'm switching it up. We got stand up comedy. Uh, it's called Bill Burr on Black People. So this is my first time checking him out. Hopefully, it's hilarious. If you're new here, or been here before, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, let's get it. Facts. Hey, I don't own any rights. This and that. It's first time checking it out. And yeah. It's nice to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money <laughs> do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. Oh, and it's coming hard. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. Damn. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like, doing the wave. No way. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Bro, that's such an awkward situation to be in. It's just like, bro, I am not with this guy. I am not with this. You know I, I don't mean? know who that is. I'm waiting for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. Facts, that ass though. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap. <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister, right? Oh my God, bro. I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. <laughs> you give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know those people get like, She won't shut up. <laughs> like so mad they're not even oh looking at God. you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game! <laughs> For God's sake! You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! This is... make sure. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, I got to get rid okay. of them. I got to admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out. Because <laughs> I got to like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. True. You gotta like fit in. They go out. They got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is that's that's true, bro. Anytime a black person leave the house, bro, they have to put on the best fit in their closet. I don't know what it is. I won't say all, but a lot of us, bro, we have to have our best fit. Even as long as you're stepping out the front door, you have to have on your best fit. You have to look clean. You have to like. You know, just like, is that, is that, gotta have some type of pride on what, you know, in yourself. You can't just be out here wearing slides and roll socks, have your dogs out and shit. Like, hell no. So I, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's still. <laughs> they just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever noticed that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. <laughs> I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Hey, he ain't lying. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? <laughs> Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking oh, horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the video, so he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. Hey, but you got a point. 10 years though. of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. 
whether well, a black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, those are the one that that's that's we call they on BT. All right, they on BT. Bad timing. Those those are equivalent to having like black air forces. You feel me? If you see a black person with black air forces, air forces, go the other direction ASAP. Don't even ask questions. Don't turn around. Go the other direction. They on BT. <laughs> no. They on BT. I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're gonna let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> kind of mug me. Now, I'm not saying something's gonna happen, I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. Yeah, bro. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. Oh my God. Is it ashy? Yeah, bro. She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. Yeah, you do. I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. <laughs> I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. The smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry. <laughs> he said the smoke starts coming up. Bro, this dude is so dumb. Flakes flying off, track marks, she's signing her name. <laughs> she's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do yeah. I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. Yeah, your shit dry as hell. That? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh my There's God, too bro. too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. White bro. people... It might be a joke, right? But he actually is speaking, though. It might be a joke, but it's some truth to what he's saying. Winter. See that? That's why you gotta hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You can. You know? Black people get ashy, it looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. <laughs> you know? They can see it. They miss it, their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Hey. We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. <laughs> hey. Register your weapons. <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. <laughs> he just had I was going to talk about I'm just let it play. <laughs> one white friend in his entourage. Dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> Dude, how, do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? Oh, my God, God bro. Okay, don't believe so in these dumb. myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all got a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening! <laughs> all right? So I sit down, and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit, it's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. Oh my God, bro. Right? 
Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that. Oh, that's her? It makes it seem like I'm going to start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guys. Oh, that's her? Oh, I see you. Oh, shit. Hi, right, Bill. Guy, black guy jokes. And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I got I to gotta do my taxes. I see you, Can this Bill. chair hold me? The black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You got to relax, man. You just got to let it happen. <laughs> 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 It's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the this end of the it. day, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> it's gonna be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. I'm not gonna lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. <laughs> Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's the same fights. So what's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And uh, she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing. But she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see. But I knew I was missing it because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing. Just sitting next to me being like... <sighs> 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 And I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody Bro, did something. There's, there's no reason why you should be huffing and puffing. Nah, they're just doing that shit just for attention. There's no reason. <laughs> Isn't it like, what? Are you that out of breath? <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. Shit. So right when I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it could get any more uncomfortable between the two of us, this fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 190 years old, and he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty, nasty blues and combine it with the pristine, angelic sounds of bluegrass. The hell? Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was subtly putting black shit down here while he was propping up the white shit. You know, the down and dirty, daddy not <laughs> sticking around, drug infested neighborhood blues. Hey, yo. With me, Jesus is white as me, hair the color <laughs> of the sun, angelic bluegrass playing music, right? Uh, so at this point, my wife has like fucking steam coming out of her ears. So I make a judgment call. I, j I just fucking shut it off, right? <laughs> and she looks at me, she's like, why did you shut that off? Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. <laughs> All right. Hey, he's just, smart, though. Just, he's smart. Forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? It's, it's, like, a, it's, I don't, I don't it's a setup. Do don't do it. I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting here watching TV. Innocent bystander, dead ass. And not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know why? Because not for nothing, there was some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with, you know? I'm not huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Like a fucking idiot. And she just looks at me, she's like, like what black people? Like what black people that said what? Just... Bro, just stop talking. Just stop. No matter what you say, they're going to switch it up and it's going to be... A... Stop talking. <laughs> At that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. Yep. <laughs> now you got to have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right. A I long day. I brought up leg shaking. Saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like, really? Leg shaking? No, nobody thought the... To, to, to fucking do this? <laughs> Black people came up with that? You're telling me that? I'll even give you that. Let's say you came up with that, but where did that black dude learn how to do it? Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing, he's just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking, okay? It's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame, he's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You made about seven or eight good points there that I can't refute. <laughs> he, he appropriated a culture, I get it, you're right. She goes, fine, thank you. 
And I go, however. <laughs> yeah. For nothing, do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard? You start going down the fucking street? Do I get all offended like, hey, man, that's some white shit. Stop appropriating my culture, man. Some dirty white kid in Santa Monica came up with that, man. So she starts laughing. And I should have stopped there, but I'm a comedian. Right? Oh, I kept going. I'm like, oh, oh my I'm getting God, a laugh. Bro. There's got to be a bigger laugh. So keep going, Bill. Let's come with another example. So I'm like, yeah, do I get mad at you when you fly from LA to New York in under six hours? And she just, yeah. <laughs> and she just stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. <laughs> paying attention. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, it's a black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's three... That means either two things. She trying to fuck or she trying to backdoor you. And I feel like she trying to backdoor you. <laughs> During in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Yeah, you about to get back to her, buddy. GG's. Yeah, because you know the deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. Oh my God, bro, this dude is so dumb. Start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. <laughs> you feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th Street, you're like leaning on shit like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> dude, what's a bodega? I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of oh here. Oh my God, bro. So I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? But she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. Oh my so, God, bro. At this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. All right. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, God, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. Hey, he, he didn't say Martin Luther King yet. All right, that's the street, bro. Once you see that, bro, yeah, you're in the hood. <laughs> Once you see that street, bro, you're in the hood. MLK Street, bro. No, don't go on the internet look at Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt? <laughs> Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this oh. point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? <laughs> Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. Oh, my oh yeah, God. I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like <laughs> 5 or 4 in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where oh I want to walk God. by. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> white guy survivor. So I'm thinking, I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know, but I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's Shit. almost, like, magical. Like, a leprechaun came out it's of like, nowhere, wait, you know? And the like those moments you have to, like, double take. 
It's like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, latte. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know. Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know. I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But, you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes got to go through the same shit, though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling. <laughs> Hey, I'm just telling you. Your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. That ass, you're fucking like. Start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2. The radio's off. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. <laughs> I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass. I don't see any rims. <laughs> fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people. No, the, bro, no lie. I was just about to say, bro, they don't even have tinted windows. <laughs> Bro, there's be driving a fucking fishbowl and shit. The hell no. Any rims? This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Bro, out. this guy is hilarious, bro. Thank you very much. But yeah, that's it for this um uh, this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.